Between Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and many others, it seems as if all streaming services are neck and neck in a battle for customer loyalty. Recently, a new challenger has entered the great streaming wars, but this one has a new twist. After gearing up for years, Quibi is a new mobile-only streaming service that has finally stepped inside the battle ring. The app features a user-friendly interface and all shows run under 10 minutes or less. With the newest generation's attention span growing shorter and shorter due to social media platforms, it's about time a streaming service caters to it. But was this the best time to do it? The app was originally built for people looking for something to watch on their commute or during a lunch break. But with the current situation with COVID-19, the original plan is in jeopardy. Americans are now left with hours on their hands to binge watch shows, and binge watching just got a whole lot easier. To give you an idea of how a 10 minute streaming service work, the app has three categories of shows. The first category consists of movies and 10 minute chapters. After that, category two is filled with unscripted shows or reality shows and documentaries. And finally, the third category has daily essentials such as news and weather. The app raised over $1 billion in funding prior to the launch, allowing it to pick up star-studded casts featuring Anna Kendrick, Liam Hemsworth, and Chrissy Teigen, just to name a few. One of the most talked about features on the app is the turnstile responsive technology, which allows users to flip their phone between vertical and horizontal viewing in the middle of their show. I think that even with the pile of cash and celebrities, Quibi will find it hard to compete with streaming services during the current social climate. Just a week before Quibi's release, Netflix's Tiger King captured all of America's attention with hour-long episodes. Although I have been glued to Quibi's content, only time will tell if their motto, shorter is better, will be true for Americans during the coronavirus pandemic. I'm Grant Johnson reporting for Eagle Nation News.